Well, hello everyone, it's Jerry with another LEGO Star Wars 10th Anniversary Review, and this one is on the Battle of Endor set. So on one of the booklets is a picture of everything in action, and LEGO LEGO, Star Wars LEGO, the like border that the first original sets had, which they've also done for these in the 2009 10th Anniversary line. And set number is 8038. And then on click with one, just nothing much. But click with two, which has the like win on the online survey, which we still have to this day, and application for Lego Club, which is still valid now. And then add for some older or promotional poster of some 09 Clone War sets, and then 09 Clone War sets. Along with the Battle of or Echo Base, this 10th anniversary set, which I have also reviewed, and also Tie Advanced one, which I have also reviewed, and then all the mini things included with this set, and then all the features included, and the pieces included. Which me fig to start out with. So to start off the mini figures is with Han Solo. And this print of which has been used in many sets over the years and well the face print of which just about the same as the one from 2000. But if it decides to focus in. There we go. So well, torso print seems the uh, same time it's been always been, but no back printing as common of older me pigs. But uh, unfortunately, no back head print either. But the face print also shown in, in the Echo Base set. Then yeah. Next me fig being of Princess Leia. In, in her Endor outfit, and the face print of which also used in one of the earlier sets. And as you see, a little bit of back torso print, but no back face print. And if we get two of them in this set is, uh, sorry about that, but sorry about the background noise, but anyway, this torso print of which is done pretty good, but sorry about that background noise anyways, but on the back of which, it does have one of those like tooth pieces there, and so an alright face print with the simple dots as pupils, also in honor of the 10th anniversary. And then next one of which another Endor Trooper, but with the same torso print, same backpack piece, same everything, but different face print and same helmet piece. But actually, which do have some good uh, sculpting to them, as much as other helmet pieces over the years also did. And then, if we get two of, is one of the uh, scout troopers in the torso print of which done pretty well, uh, similar to most other or sets. Then. But the head piece of which just plain black, which uh, which they need to do on all the stormtrooper set or stormtrooper ones, so they are not confused with clone troopers and all. And no back torso print, obviously.
And next I get an Imperial crew member. And he of okay. or maybe it's rather ATST pilot. Oh, we, there's some good torso in favor. There's some good torso printing, but not at all any leg printing, but the face print of which I've done goodly. Like with strap. And also the same helmet piece as the other pilot ones have, but no back torso printing or face printing as of obviously. But um hang on a sec. The next one is Wicked Ewok. So I think this is probably the first time we've ever gotten the Ewoks in much better uh, coloring or better prints and everything compared to like the kind of creepy 2003 ones. So his uh, prints and sculpting done, done greatly. Like the other ones, one big zephyr piece, and which, like Chewbacca, also will. And next up, Papu, the Ewok. But same stuff as Wicked ones, but with some the face print of a couple leaves on the side there. And same stuff, but in like light tan compared to orange. And next is, is Chief Chirpa. Uh, same kind of molding as them, but in gray and brown. But although kind of missing his uh, lead staff, but whatever. If it decides to focus, okay. Anyways, on to R two D two. Of which, with the great headpiece as used in some Clone War sets, the print of which is all the same as it's been since around 2004, I believe. And, and they still use it like this to this day. So, it's starting to get kind of repetitive as of now. And lastly, is one of the most repetitive, Chewbacca. With the old style uh, torso piece. And here's our Chief Chirpa, which you couldn't see earlier. But at least until they did the much better moldings for this Chewbacca one. And that is it. And first of all, for the builds, is get this little Ewok glider piece which can't really work on its own as you got a couple of fishing rod pieces and also some thick cloth pieces to be the wings of it and well to get it to work and all is just fit your Ewok mini fig onto the two clips or if they have the arms back a little, just get onto those two, onto the clip pieces, and also get this little stand to put their feet on, like so, and then makes it looks like he's gliding across through the forests of Endor. But although on the back part of which there's little arm you can lift up and it drops a little stone out which not so effective 
but I guess it's the best they could do compared to that 2003 for satellite. And also, you get one of these little dish pieces in clear, which not so common, but yeah. But also, what you get in this set is of this little castle, which is kind of reminiscent to that of like a castle set, but but some bit of this is like a little redo of the uh, Ewok attack set from 2003. You can get these little cylinder like pieces. And if I turn this around, I'm going to flip on this and it flings off very well. And a couple of places to clip weapons onto it. And, and at least build a good little bit better than the uh, 2003 one. And yeah. And then. Next up for the mini builds is what you get two of is two of the little uh, speeder bikes for the scout troopers. Which built a little similarly to that of the 99 versions, or if unlike that 2003 version. Like same things and also a little megaphone blaster on the side, saying a lot of different stuff, but a little different is has the traditional. Uh, Try or three wheeler uh, motorcycle piece, jaffy piece in there. Or in, yeah. And of course, get two of it in this set. And then next up for the build is this ATST Walker. See, kind of similar to that of the 2016 Rogue One one, but that version of which was a bit larger. But this is just more smaller version, probably to fit the price of this set. The, the legs of which quite a little less dinky than that of which, but do got some gear function to it just to make it walk a bit. But although that one did have the like click joints in them. The head of which done pretty well, but also do have a flick fire missile on the side of it rather than these spring loaded launchers. But, and like the others, the top part can open up in enough space to fit a minifig into it. And also, with this version, it does have a little thing for your Chewbacca minifig to clip on to the whips. For when he reveals himself in the walker. And I think that is it for that. And then lastly is the oops, end or bunker itself, the main part of the set. Oh, the ease. There we go. So this front area, which, which is common in this scene, but like, where, can, where, the, where the shaping of which done pretty well, like a lot of you say the slopes and all. And of course you can like slide the doors or slide these walls out to expand it a bit. Which is like going around some interesting stuff here. Like there's plenty of like little control panel slopes and place to store blasters in. And also some like of those cone pieces, not sure what those are being used for. But also notice the like little gears of which that you turn to make the doors open. And how these fold out is, you notice know, the little clip front there, which is going to hook into there. Like so. Whoops. And 
And so for the actual main feature of this set is that notice the like little things above you can like oops and press on them and then the walls oh oh whoops blow off like so which really pretty cool really cool So now, on to it, the final vert, I think. But also good use of some of those bush-like pieces and... So, the final vert. This, though, which I think, really cool, pretty cool set for 2009. Like, get plenty of neat builds, but I'm resigned to everything, like the Ewoks and everything. But although this would make a great pair up with the Ewok like Village set from 2013, like they would work together because they're together in the scenes, and yeah. And if you still have access to this set, like on Bricklink or whatever, then go ahead and get it. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.